Hey, welcome to episode number 7. In this episode, we are going to learn about Azure App Service staging environments. I'll explain you the concepts of deployment slots and we will discuss about slots as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So before I start explaining the concept behind deployment slots, let me quickly show you where you can find the deployment slots. So I logged into my Azure portal. Go to App Services. If you don't have an app service created, click on create to create a brand new one so i'm going to select the one which i created earlier and on the left hand side under deployment click on deployment slots and please note that if the application isn't already in standard premium and isolated tier you will receive a message to upgrade your plan at this point you have an option to either upgrade or go to the scale tab of your application before continuing so i'm going to click on upgrade This time I'm going to choose a production workload and I'm going to pick P1 version 2 and hit apply. So what happening in the back end right now is it's upgrading the app service plan. Looks like the application plan is been upgraded. I'm going to go back to my application and hit refresh. All right. Now you can see there is an option for me to see my deployment slot. On the top I have an ability to add new slots. click on add a new slot give a name and i'm going to call it as staging and this is where you have an ability to whether to clone an application configuration from another deployment slot after making the change you can hit on add so while this is happening you can clone a configuration from any existing slot settings that can be cloned include app settings connection strings language framework versions web sockets HTTP version and platform bitness. After the slot is added, select close to close the dialog box. Now you can see the new slot is shown on the deployment slot page. By default, the traffic percentage is set to zero for the new slot, with all customer traffic routed to the production slot. So select the new deployment slot to open the slots resource page. and the staging slot has a management plane just like any other azure app service you can go under settings and you can change anything on this configuration page for this particular slot and if you go back to the overview page you can see that the deployment slot has its own host name and is also a live app so if you want to limit the public access to the deployment slots you have to modify your azure app service ip restrictions Now let us learn about the deployment slots concepts. When you deploy your web application, web application on Linux, mobile backends or API app on Azure App Service, you can use a separate deployment slot instead of the default production slot. When you are running in the standard, premium or isolated app service plan tier, the deployment slots are live apps with their own host names. The app content and the configuration elements can be swapped between two deployment slots including the production slots and deploying your application to a non-production slot has following benefits you can validate app changes in a staging deployment slot before swapping it with the production slot and deploying an app to a slot first and swapping it into a production make sure that All instances of the slots are warmed up before being swapped into production. This eliminates downtime when you deploy your application. The traffic redirection is seamless and no requests are dropped because of swap operations. And you can automate this entire workflow by configuring auto swap when pre-swap validation is needed. After a swap The slot with previously staged app now has a previous production app. If the changes swapped into the production slot aren't as you expected, you can perform the same swap immediately to get your last known good site back. Auto swap streamlines Azure DevOps scenarios where you want to deploy your app continuously with zero cold starts and zero downtime. for app customers when auto swap is enabled from a slot into production every time you push your code 
changes to that slot app service automatically swaps the app into production after it's warmed up in the source slot. So let me show you where you can see the auto swap. So go under settings, click on configuration, go under general settings, scroll down till you find deployment slots. This is where you would be able to turn on your deployment slot auto swap. So how do you route traffic between these slots? By default, all client requests to the app production URL are routed to the production slot. However, you can route a portion of the traffic to another slot. This feature is useful if you need user feedback for a new update, but you are not ready to release it to your production environment. Azure PowerShell contains a new AZ web app slot commandlet that you can use to create new deployment slot for an app. To swap a slot, you can manually invoke an Azure Resource Manager action by using invoke AZ resource action commandlet. You can use AZ web deployment slot group in the Azure CLI to manage the slot. And you can use create command to create a new slot. And you can use a swap command to swap a slot from source to a destination or a target. That concludes episode number seven. In the next episode, we are gonna learn about Azure functions. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.